friends. Why am I doing that? Um, my pull-up bars up there. And I want you to evaluate my pull-ups for me. I probably shouldn't be wearing this shirt for you to check my back muscles and see if I'm engaging right. I've got a chair. And I'm going to try to keep this video short. I'm supposed to do 10 attempts at a pull-up. All right, let me, oh gosh, it's been already 22 seconds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started for you and show you a quick exercise too for your lower body, I guess. So I've got this chair. I probably should have it where it's not quite totally underneath me so I can move it out of the way. So I got one of these pull-up bars. You see me? All right, so I'll try to do it slow. This will be one. That was one. That was one. Oh, I'm gonna put this, I have it hanging in the closet here. Okay, so I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try it again, okay? So, just stay with me. Happy Vlogmas, or whatever you wanna call it. See, because if I do this, I can't seem to get up very well. That was an attempt. That was an attempt, so that was like two, it's number two. All right, let's try the center, okay? i put my arms up, hands up here. Am I gonna be able to do it? Oh, I'll try to do a negative. Ooh, that kind of hurt my back falling down like that. Wow, I probably need to be very careful. Right? Yeah, okay. Stretch my back out here, because that was like, I felt it right down the center of the back here, right across the, that part. So, but I do want you guys to watch me. So I'm gonna try from this way. All right. And I'm gonna do a little hang there. That would be attempt three. I'm gonna call that attempt number three. Let's try this again, right? Let's try this again. Stand on the chair. I have this little band. I don't like the way it does. I don't feel like it really helps me, but maybe it helps you. You gotta find what works, right? All right, I'm gonna try to hold myself up for as long as I can. This will be a tent number four. Does your hands hurt right there when you do a pull up? They hurt me. That was tip number four. So let's try it back this way. You, are you watching? Are you getting? what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing anything wrong. Do I need to move the camera to a different location, the phone? That's what I'm gonna do. That was attempt number four, right? So we're working on the other attempts. So I'm going to move you to another location. And I don't know if you're gonna get a view. You may not get one, I don't know. But we're gonna try this. I have us in the bathroom right now. Bathroom we don't use, it's a master bathroom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get it again this way, okay? With my arms apart. Is it better to have them apart further or not? Okay, get myself back up. That's attempt number five. I got five more attempts to go. Every day I'm going to try an attempt to do a pull up. Alright, so should I try this band? See, my nerve, I'm nervous about getting in it because I might be not doing it right. Put my foot in there, right? And hope it helps. Let's see. One, two. Uh, that was attempt number six because that didn't work. I didn't straighten my leg out. I know. It's probably supposed to straighten the leg out. Still. I'm attempting, right? You give me credit for attempting? All right, so I'm gonna move, let me rearrange that. I want that to be rearranged. All right, that was attempt number six. Let's see, let me try to, the gym is supposed to start getting a bullet bar. Let's see, seven. All right, we're gonna do it again. Oh, my fingers hurt. Eight. That was eight. Right? Eight. <sighs> Let me try this other bar here. This part. Nine. And let's try 
again. Ten. That was a chore. That was ten. And I've already been on five minutes. I was trying to keep this short. So do you see the kind of bar it is? It's got this one. And it's got the inside and then the outside part there. Okay. Wow. So that was that. And oh goodness, I'm kind of sorry about my terrible, terrible things here about all of that. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I hope you're okay with that. So a quick leg workout. All right, you could get a chair that's not too too high up. Make sure it's stable and do step ups at home like this with your dumbbells. So that was a quick thing, just a quick little um, tutorial on that. So now I've got to share with you. You know what? Purpose, your purpose, and we're purpose driven today. What I'm able to do, God wants me to do. Every ability can be used for God's glory, okay? Um, you know, everybody's got something they're made to do. Filled with abilities. Whether it's teaching or writing, selling a boat or being a soldier, doesn't matter. Well, he knows that you might be an introvert or an extrovert. Everybody's different. Everybody's just got different personalities. And that's what I'm trying to take away on this. I've been examining myself. And I've discussed this the last time. Um, some people are better at have the personality for YouTube and others don't. And I've been thinking about that myself. You know... Since the Lord has helped me lose weight, and I thought, well, I really would like to help other people because, you know, I, I mean, I see the effects of long-term obesity in my own family, and I don't want to live that lifestyle. And I know that other people, and it's killed a lot of people, obesity. My husband, his dad actually died. When he died, they had to remove a window to get his body out. He was so obese. He pretty much ate himself to death, just um, eating all the time and going to food for comfort. And my mother admitted it, food was comfort to her. And I, I don't want to live that way. But I'm thinking, okay, do I have the personality, honestly, to be a personal trainer? Comment below and let me know what you think about me. Do you think that I would be the, because I I've, I've did all the studying, got the certification, all that stuff. And... I don't know. Part of it is sales. You have to be good at sales, whether it's YouTube or personal trainer or whatever. But, yeah. He works through all different sorts of people. And I want it to be used as well. And your personality will affect how and where you use your gifts and abilities. I think I discussed that before. Yes, I did. I did discuss some of this the other, the last time I was on here, right? Using what God gave you. You may not have a million dollars to help other people. You know, you may not have a lot of stuff to help other people, but he's given you something. Maybe you can encourage other people and, uh, you know, just give them a positive thing. And if you got a phone like I got, you know, obviously I'm able to do videos even on this phone. You know use what little bit you have and then maybe later on you can get something better because I know I follow some YouTubers that have phones that are, are their cameras for YouTube and equipment's well over a thousand dollars you know I can't afford that so I use what I have and I know it's not the best quality and everything but it's what it is and you can use what you have Consider your heart. Consider your personality. What does what do you long to do? What's always coming up and from you know you stuff it away, but it comes back up again and again. You keep thinking about the same thing, and also your personality. Are you outgoing or are you more of a shy person? You know, um, 
and you got to just assess your gifts and abilities and know what you're you're made to do and enjoy it accept and enjoy it you know I mean really I, do I have I enjoyed taking care of kids you know I mean I see exactly the value of training up kids and teaching them because someday they may be the next president of the United States they may be a big time leader in our community or and do you what do you want to be what 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 should be in that next president of the United States if you're teaching a kid a bunch of kids and you're making a massive impact in, into our community's future just by teaching children and I have a heart for that yes but uh, you know there's only so much I can do and the community and teachers are not giving enough support and resources to assist in that and when you're a teacher with a lot of kids 20 or 30 kids you really can't sit down and work with those kids that are really struggling and needing your help. So teachers are, are very undervalued and given very little to work with. But again, you work with what you got, like we're learning here. Um, and you keep developing yourself. You never stop developing yourself. And just make the best use of what he has given you to use. You know, it's, you're not going to get, you may not have a million dollars. You may not have, uh, you know, I would love to send all homeless people to college. You know, I mean, it would help them, I believe. But I don't have that kind of money to do that. The time and resources or maybe the transportation to do that. Um, my birthday is coming up really fast on Monday and I'm, hoping and praying and trying again and every day I, that I fail that's okay if I fail one day I, I'm just going to pick up myself up and try again and that's all you have to do is just keep trying and whether it's with relationships and that's a whole nother topic right there you know you want you know I'm learning to wait and be patient with some relationships in your life, you, you just have to say, Lord, I can't, I can't do that. I can't make the decisions for them. I'm just going to wait. And I have to wait. And I have to just be patient. And I have to not, and try to just take it one day at a time so that, you know, hopefully that person that you're having a struggling relationship with will come around. And you do what you can do to develop yourself to be the person that God wants you to be. And then, hopefully, um, the other person will come around. But if they don't, and they decide they don't want to have any part of being in a relationship with you anymore, whether it's a friend, family member, or whatever, you know, you have to have peace to know that you did your part. And maybe they just, and if they're never ready to have a, a quality relationship with you, I don't know, just one day at a time and trust that God's got something planned. I mean, he knows, he knows what tomorrow holds. He knows what's going on in that other person's heart. And if they're not listening to him or obeying him. They know that he know you know that God knows about it more than you do. You know, you can't read that person's mind. You don't know. Sometimes they'll tell you they have good intentions, but they really, do they have good intentions? Their heart may not be on it. They say one thing, but they do another. It's, they believe it's called passive aggressiveness, especially if they tell you one thing, but they don't go by that. I'm going to try to end this in, in a moment here because I know my time is I'm trying to keep these short I really wanted this one short but yeah just work with what you've got if you have a pull up bar at home work with it in a chair but it's best to try to stay safe 
and have somebody to watch you. And I usually have my son help. So it's 15 minutes now. I am going to get off of here and let you just uh, have a great rest of the day and stay focused and encourage someone.